it's so interesting because at the time, um, I didn't know that that's what I was doing. I mean, honestly, I didn't even, the first time I ever realized that study abroad was even a job was I had been in it for 15 years and someone came like yourself and sat down and said, how did you get your job? And it had never occurred to me before <laughs> because it was such a young field that this was actually a field that other people would be aspiring to. So when I was taking time off, um, I, I have to admit, I was, I was very undeliberate about it. I just knew at the time that, um, I knew at the time that I didn't and shouldn't burn any bridges. I mean, if, you know, if there's a rule that you've heard most of your life, hopefully from your parents, it's don't burn any bridges. Um, because you never know when you need to walk back across. So even, even deciding to pull back in a professional way or a student way for a while certainly doesn't mean that you don't want to disappear and you don't want to uh, remind people of, that you're there and that you can be helpful. So sometimes I'd say through networking, it's mostly, I see it more, well, I see it more at a local kind of community level, but that's not true anymore. I mean, networking right now is doing exactly what you're doing right this minute. Um, so I don't know. It is a struggle. It's that whole, I don't know, it's that whole work-life balance thing that um, my generation did a really bad job at. Um, my children are doing a much better job at it. Um, but it's, it's always a balancing game. <laughs>